Welcome back, everybody. Hope you've had a good week so far. Well, good Monday through Friday. Hopefully the weekend goes great for you guys. Um, we're back with a beer and uh, a brewery that we haven't visited in a long time. Yeah, in a long, time. long, long time. Uh, I don't even remember the last one. It's name Alpha King, I believe. Was it Was Alpha it? King? It sounds about right. Yeah. Um, if you know what we're talking about, it is Three Floyd's Brewery. Um, this one is called Space Station Middle Finger. <gasps> and Super Edge, bro. Super Edge. Got a nice little graphic on there. Uh, so, Chris, that tell me your favorite part of uh, the beer so far. Uh, just, I mean, my favorite part is the graphic. The, the graphic. Just, <clears throat> the, uh, it's the space station. But it, this space station is in the shape of a middle finger. It's got a big middle finger on the end of it. Yeah. It's um, a nice, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Deep oh, yeah. Finger. oh, this is an, uh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. A golden American pale ale. Ale. Uh, so that should be pretty interesting. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Uh, I think we liked, I believe we liked. APAs. Pretty good. Yeah. American pale ales. Uh what I was gonna say is I think I think we liked Alpha King, so I yeah I think we did come too. back. I I do remember why we didn't go back right away. It's expensive. Uh, it was an expensive brewery. Yeah. And this one they're an expensive. Not brewery. much cheaper. Uh, I'll just price point right off the back. I twelve ninety nine. Ooh, for a six pack twelve ninety nine. Um, I believe Alpha King was it. Alpha King was fourteen. 14 wasn't yeah. It? yeah. So. Three Floyds is a um, expensive, very brewery. expensive brewery. Uh, they got pretty cool caps though. Oops. They got a cool, uh, cool logo, cool cap. I don't know. That's gonna, that's not gonna focus. Oh, uh, kind of did. Anyway, cool cap. Uh, smells a uh, fruity. Smells fruity. Smells sweet. Uh, oh my pomegranate? god. Not pomegranate. What's grape? that? It smells like grapefruit almost. Guava, I was gonna say, or Ooh, passion or fruit. Guava. Okay, I can, yeah, I, can see. I can see passion fruit. Oh, okay. I did not expect that. I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, I saw in like a little description it was like fruity flavors, and I went, it can't be like that fruity. It doesn't tell me what. Fruit. It smells fruity. It smells real fruity. This so if this doesn't taste much like fruit, we're in for a surprise. It's got that nice golden, oh, beautiful color to it. A golden color. Gorgeous color. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh perfect, it stopped. Bad pour, bad pour on my part. I got a, uh, a bad pour on my part, it's a little bit too small. A little of too head. small of a head, a little too large of a head. I'd yeah. say about an inch too large. Yeah. Half an inch maybe too large. Yeah. Yeah, that really, they, that's really fruity. That's gonna be, that's my like mouth a, is That's so like an inch and a half. I got bubbles on my nose. You got foam on the nose. You can't see it, but he's got it. I got it. Yeah, you can still, you can kind of see it. You can't really. I'm, I'm excited for it. I, I want to go through the foam. I'm not gonna I, lie, because I'm. I wasn't I'm expecting really the fruity. I don't. I, uh, I went to look for a beer, and I went. I'm feeling like a fruitier beer. Like I was gonna go with like. A passion fruit or Some or something, but or something. but during this time it's mostly all like cherry flavored beers and I can't drink those. Nah, he's so, allergic to cherries. And so I went. Well, I guess that we'll just have to go with something lighter. Like I don't, I didn't feel like a dark one. I feel mm -hmm. like we've been hitting a lot of dark yeah. orders or stouts lately. So I was like, let's keep it on something golden. Now I got a little bit it of. It smells so good. It smells so good. I'm going for it. Let's go for it. Yeah. The That's beginning taste really good. The beginning taste. Uh did you get the fruity beginning taste? Mm, a little bit. Yeah. 
You got a fruity beginning taste. Ooh, aftertaste too. I got you got a little bit of fruity aftertaste. But um, you just have, yeah. I really like this one. This one's good. I like, this one's getting a high score for me. I need a, I need a burger or a dog right now. It's a loaded Chicago dog. Oh my goodness. Mm. Or a big, big pub burger on like a pretzel bun. Just destroy that right now. No, you said the hot dog. I'm all hot dog. Or both. I would go both. Nice side of French fries. Mm. 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 But thick, uh, right? not the thick, not the thick fries. No, no, I don't like thick fries. I like the thin ones. Yeah. Or uh, Portillo's crinkles. They have crinkles, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Portillo's fries. So good. Cook them just a little bit longer, like yeah, just give a little, them a little bit oh. more crispier. Mm. Oh yeah. Anyway, we're gonna <laughs> get off track here. Uh excellent, excellent taste. Um. Beginning, middle, and end. It's like you get that little first fruitiness. Um, then you get the ale, the pale ale taste, the the hop, the little hoppiness the hoppy. to it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. You get like, a, and then the aftertaste is like a combination of it's like a fruity, hoppy fruity taste. hoppy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah. And it's just, it's good to you the whole way down. It is. It is. Oh, it is. It's just, it's good to you. I mean, it treats you well. Light. It's actually, it feels pretty light to me. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it says it on here. 12 hours. You might have to look on the, uh... Yeah, I don't think it says it. No, it doesn't. We'd have to look at um, the packaging. Yeah, and I'll put it down. In the description, I'll look on the package. Put it in this in the description below. Um, but it doesn't feel that heavy. No, it, it's, it's a great really summer good. beer. It, it'd be a real good oh, summer beer. Hot day, hot day. I'm even like, I I was a little thirsty before doing this, mm. and so I took like a big gulp of it, and uh, it it it's refreshing. Yeah, it's kind like of a nice refreshing like, taste. It scratches that little, that itch, like, maybe you're really not in the mood for pale ale. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you're not really in the mood for, like, kind of a heavier beer. This is, like, it scratches that perfect itch between, like, pale ale and a lighter beer. Like, just absolutely. This, this would be perfect, I think, um, in, like, the beginning, like, just sitting around a bon like a bonfire. Yeah. Enjoying the night. Enjoying the night. Cooking some s'mores. Enjoying, like, just watching maybe, like, the sun go down. Just enjoying nature. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean. It's making me. We just got eight inches of snow. Yeah. And it's did. making me think of yeah. the summer nights. It's bringing you right to summer. Um, That's the other good thing about this one. This would be good, like, next month when I'm, like, done with snow. And I'm, like, I really want it to be warm so I can go fish topwater water. Lures, uh, I'm just gonna drink one of these and just be like, just take myself there because it is absolutely uh, loving it. It's it is good, balanced, it's well balanced, tastes great, and just hits all the bases. Yeah, what are you thinking For score wise, yeah. <coughs> oh, swallow it, bird. Going eight. <coughs> eight. I'm going eight. I oh. like it. I like it. Uh, it's a solid choice. You know, eight, eight, two, five. Eight and a quarter. I'm gonna go eight and a quarter. Final answer. I'm gonna. It's refreshing. I'm gonna disagree. Make a note of this. Me and Chris never disagree. This is going at a nine for me. This is going at a nine. This is going at a nine for me. Solid nine. 
I think what holds it back from being a 10 is I don't have a hot dog. But, uh, yeah. Chicago dog, too, not just a. Not just a plain not just, mustard hot dog. Like, I mean, no I offense to you, St. Louis and yeah, St. Louis, but uh, Chicago dogs are the Chicago best. Chicago dogs, they're the best. Sorry, you got you got the perfect combination of relish, celery, salt, pickle, tomato, oh. hot pepper, mustard, mustard, mm. Mm. onion, on a poppy seed bun, on a poppy seed bun. <sighs> yeah, if I had boom that. That boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, it would be. It brings something. me to this. This brings me to the summer day, and I, you know, there's not many beers that, and it's why it's I'm giving it eight and a quarter. There's not many beers that like one sip like brings me all the way to it, it because it doesn't have like that lemonade taste that you know yeah. like summer shandy has, or you know porch rocker, or porch rocker, where like those are meant to bring you to the summer. Yeah. This isn't meant to bring you, but like it brings me to summer. Well, like to that relaxing time. Yeah. Like the thing about like Port Rocker and Summer Shandy, they're only available. I mean, they come, they start selling them. They'll start selling like them. Like early spring. Which is uh, crazy. I mean, which is crazy because they know Illinois, it doesn't get warm until like May. Yeah. I mean, it's, April, it's like 50s, which is perp. I love. 50s is great weather. But I mean, it doesn't really start like heating up until like end of May. End of May, yeah. Middle, end of May. Um, but, what? like, you're already in summertime when we're drinking like poor tracker. So, I mean, excuse me, guys. Oh, gas bubbles. Um, you know, you're already in summer when you're drinking like poor tracker and summer shandy. So, yeah. it's just like, Oh yeah, I'm already here. Like, I'm already. I mean, here. it's still good. I mean, you know, still, still yeah. absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, like this one. If you just need to vision yourself in summer, just grab this one. It's a little bit more pricey. Uh, it's definitely worth it, though. I would say. Oh, it's definitely worth it. Like, just absolutely. Just good. You know what? Good job, good job. Three Floyds, man. I'm give, um, I'm giving them the round of applause. Um, cause I'm not a big pale ale guy. Yeah, but I mean, I know that throughout this process of I mean, reviews, we've, we've gotten more them, open. We've been more open to them, uh, and I agree. I'm not a big pale ale guy, kind of guy. It's just this one. It it ah. brings me to that time. Yeah. Wait. I would bring this out on the boat, man. Yeah. Drink it while fishing. Most definitely. Yeah. I mean. I'd so. just be afraid to drop it. It's expensive. <laughs> yeah, right. Drop it in the water. But you uh, know, maybe the fish need some love too. Yeah, you know. Fish could like it. Maybe I'll make them bite the lure more. I think that's it, man. Yeah. I think that's it as well. Eight, two, five, and a nine. Eight two five. It's a great. For a total beer. of a seventeen two five. Yeah, seventeen two five out of twenty. That's a good score. That's yeah. It's really good. Um, go check it out. Three Floyd's Space Station Middle Finger. Here is the graphic again. Just we're gonna show off the graphic again. Cause it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, so gonna be it um remember guys stay tuned because what's coming next is our first ever episode of the drunk cast we are even though we're not drunk that's what we're calling it though because we're gonna be doing it mostly after beer reviews yes mostly mostly uh so I mean, it's always gonna be after the beer review, yeah it's always gonna be but it's maybe review. not gonna be right after the beer review sometimes we'll have a we'll we have a couple in between here. Think about what we're gonna say. But we picked the topic today that you know we don't really need. We don't really we don't need research on. No, because we're both I don't know if we'd say we're experts, but because yeah. I'm not an expert. Oh, no, I'm not either. But uh it's both I think we're we both can teach each other. I think it's a topic in which 
uh, I'll learn stuff from you, you'll learn stuff from me, and we just both will be able to complain yeah. about it. So. Yeah, yeah, we'll come out better people. Yeah, hopefully, right? hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> or we come out worse people. Yeah, who knows? So anyway, guys, stay tuned to the channel for that. But we're signing off for the beer review for now. So should we say our saying? Should we say it? Let's say it. Let's say it. Let's say it. Stay safe. Be safe. We're going to see you guys in a little bit.